Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We still have a slow moving upper level low that's passing through the central and northern parts of California. This is what's causing the showers and storms, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Now again, we've had plenty of clouds across the Rogue Valley today and into this evening. That's the reason why we're missing out on some of the heating that would have formed more of the showers and storms. I'm still going to put in a chance, a scattered chance, throughout the evening hours for the Rogue Valley. But first, for the coast, we have a chance for a few showers, especially down towards uh, Brookings and Crescent City this evening. Temperatures generally in the 50s overnight. We may see some areas of fog and low clouds into tomorrow morning. There's a slight chance for a shower or storm for tomorrow. Highs generally in the 60s for the coast. Now again, as we move inland, because of the clouds around, we're having still a possibility for a chance for scattered showers and storms this evening. However, again, because we had a lot of clouds during the day, there's not as much of a chance for severe weather. That may change, though, with some areas uh, during the evening hours. And because of that, we have a flash flood watch in effect until 11 p.m. tonight. This includes Ashland and also Siskiyou County. That's through 11 p.m. tonight for the potential for some of these storms produce some locally heavy rainfall. Uh, if we don't get the heavy rainfall, it looks like we'll just be dealing with some scattered showers and possibly some thunderstorms. There'll be some clouds mixing in. Lows in the 50s and 60s, your highs tomorrow, generally in the 70s and 80s. Clouds possibly mixing in with some sunshine. I'm still putting in a chance for some scattered showers and storms. And once again, some of these storms may produce some strong winds, hail, and maybe some locally heavy rainfall. East of the Cascades. Lows will generally be in the 50s. There is a chance for some scattered showers and storms. Outside of that, we'll just see some clouds around overnight. Low 54 for Klamath Falls, your highs tomorrow. Generally in the 70s to around 80, a little cooler up towards Crater Lake. We'll have some clouds around, possibly mixing it with some sunshine. There's a chance for scattered showers and storms during the day. Seven day forecast. We go from the chances for scattered showers and storms on Thursday to a slight chance Friday, isolated Saturday for the Rogue Valley with more sunshine increasing into the seven day forecast. Notice the highs though, 80s and low 90s, so not as hot as we have been and lows generally in the 60s. For the Klamath Basin, we have highs in the 70s and 80s, lows generally in the 40s and 50s, chance for scattered showers and storms Thursday, slight chance on Friday and Saturday. And for Northern California, Mount Shasta City, highs in the 70s and 80s, a chance for scattered showers and storms Thursday, slight chance Friday and Saturday, and lows generally in the upper 40s through the 50s. For the coast, highs will generally be in the upper 50s through the 60s, and lows generally upper 40s and 50s. We have clouds around. Mixing it with sunshine, we may see some fog late at night and during the morning hours, and I still put in a slight chance for showers and storms on Thursday.